to the next video in today's video i will show you how to display the eu consent form uh, for european countries whenever you want to display any ad from google ad mob in flutter without using any third party library uh, so yeah let's get started first step which we have to do is we have to come to google ad mob next we uh, so this is for android so i will just create an app so go to apps uh, add your first app android i have not deployed it to play store i'll just click on continue I'll just name it as first app but you can give a, it a proper name I'll click on add app then I'll click on done and uh, now uh, depending on what ad you are showing uh, you might want to create an ad unit for it so in this tutorial I am creating an interstitial ad so I'll create an ad unit for it uh, for testing purposes I will just use the test ad from the ad mob documentation but I'm just showing you how to create production ads as well so I'll just select interstitial uh, my interstitial again give a proper name uh, okay and I'll click on create ad unit now you can just copy paste this code uh, copy paste this ad units inside your code so I'll just click on done for now uh, next what you'll have to do is uh, so I have written all the steps for creating the privacy policy so click on add privacy policy so firstly what you will have to do is uh, <clears throat> you will have to add some privacy policy to your app as well so maybe some web view or uh, just uh, inside your settings page you can add some privacy policy so that is very important so I won't uh, do that in this video uh, like because that is a simple basic thing which you can do it on your own then you will have to click on uh, privacy and messaging uh, okay uh, then click create for european regulation so i'll just click on create uh, then we'll click create then we'll have to click on get started so here you uh, as you can see they have mentioned that add a privacy policy to your app so you can add that uh, here I will just click on get started then click create a European regulation message so I'll just click on this and here uh, if you want so here you can see uh, this is the setup for it if you want you can change it like the styling you can change it however you want to the targeting you can change it however you want to uh, but yeah I'll keep everything as default but the important thing is you will have to select your app over here so that's why i have created my app uh, at the very first time and i'll select my app also here you will have to add some url so make sure you add some url as well so uh, for now i will just add https colon slash slash make sure you add a proper url uh, maybe your website url or your business url something like that okay uh, not google maybe coding with nobody.com nobody.com okay i'll click on save uh, i'll also make sure i will uh, click this add unit deployment as well uh, do i have to add privacy policy okay add privacy policy in the do not consent select on <coughs> okay i'll click on the uh, i'll uh, just make sure i think the add unit deployment may be for production purposes uh but uh, yeah for now i'll just keep it as off i'll click on confirm uh then uh, select your app add privacy policy and do not consent select on okay so here you will have to select on then you will have to click publish so just click publish I'll click ok and also uh, one thing to note is that once you now i will show you later on uh, in the output that how the consent form looks like but the once you uh, once the user accept a consent it only lasts for one year that is the important part uh, so yeah let's now move on to the demo part okay now coming back to the output so here i will what i'm doing is that i'm installing the app first now as soon as the app is installed uh, you will see a consent form and the consent form does take some time to load it is not Im loaded immediately uh, so yeah we'll wait some time uh, because it is an asynchronous process uh, once the consent form loads now this is only for eu okay uh, 
so uh, eu countries and uh, given that i am uh, i don't stay stay in europe so i am stay in asia but it is possible for development purpose you show this form uh, just for testing purposes which i will show you uh, later on how to do that uh, so first of all what i'll do is that i will uh, make sure i'll uh, click on this uh, consent button so i'm giving the developer okay do show me ads so i will click on consent now once the user gives a consent then we are trying to load our ad which also takes some time so here you can see i'm displaying a toast message that okay on ad loaded now once i click on show ad uh, it will show the user the ad uh, now what i will do is that i will just uninstall this application again and i will click on do not consent okay I will reinstall it uh, once I click on do not consent uh, then uh, uh, like as per the documentation what it says is that you will have to uh, show a privacy uh, like inside your settings uh, you need to have a button uh, where in which you will uh, tell the user okay you need to accept the privacy policy or the consent form whatever it is uh, okay so here uh, here is the form okay I will click on do not consent now if i try to click on show ad i am getting an error message because the ad failed to load okay now instead of showing this toast message what you can uh, tell the user you can display a pop-up that okay you need to accept this consent form first and redirect him to the settings page something like that so i have kept it simple i am displaying a toast message but you can uh, display uh, uh, like a dialogue or a pop-up message that okay you need to accept the consent form and uh, once I click on this show, suppose the user is redirected to the settings page or somewhere wherever you feel comfortable and once he click on the show consent again, then he will see that form again. Now again I will click on do not consent, I will click on show ad, okay same thing again. Now I will click on show consent again and now I will accept the cons, I will click on the consent button and again the ad does take some time to load because the consent form was just accepted and now if i click on uh, show ad here you can see the ad was loaded so that's how the process is started with the code uh, so first of all you will have to create flutter application inside that uh, go to main.dart now i am using interstitial ad but you can use banner ad native ads rewarded ads whatever you like to uh, next if you see over here inside my home page I have refactored my home page widget first I have defined a method channel for my interstitial platform then I am getting a callback from the native side uh, whether this particular ad was uh, loaded or not if the ad was loaded uh, then only uh, allow the user to press the button to actually show the ad so inside init state you can see that I am receiving a broadcast stream from the native side itself and inside uh, the actual uh, build method i have created a safe area and the safe area has two button one for showing the consent form and other for displaying the ad so here you can see these two methods should be present on the uh, native side itself and also this video is only for android uh, like for ios i will make separate video otherwise the video will be too long uh, next you will have to go to build.gradle over here and uh, make sure you update kotlin version to uh, 1.8.20 next uh, you will also have to uh, go to the uh, other build.gradle file and uh, you will also have to import uh, google ads as well as the uh, ump platform so if you go to this build.gradle over here you can see that i am importing the user messaging platform which is uh, used to show the display ad which is used to sorry show the consent form and uh, google play services like gms play services ads for displaying uh, google ads next go to android manifest.xml and here you can see that i have added those three metadata tags which are required for uh, displaying the ads so this is and this uh, these two are for ad optimization next go to kotlin and here i have copied everything from the docs uh, like i will just show you in a bit the docs as well but uh, this is this class will help us to display the consent manager to the user so first we have defined an interface for a callback to be invoked when consent gathering is complete next we have an helper variable to determine if the app can request ads then we have another helper variable to determine if the privacy pop option form is required or not and here uh, is another method for gathering the consent 
now if you see over here this debug settings like this debug setting is for testing purpose only and you should not uh, you should comment this out or completely remove it uh, when you are deploying it to production so if you see i'm i don't live in europe i live in asia so but if you want the consent form to display it while testing purposes you can add this second important thing which you need to do is you also need to add this device hash id uh, at the start you won't know your device hash id what you could do is once i have shown all the code to you just run your application like open uh, the android folder inside android studio run your app go to locket of your android studio and in that you will see some uh, logs uh, related to something like this consent debug settings dot builder dot ha add test device hash id and they will give you what your hash id is copy that hash id paste it over here and run your application again okay again this is only for testing purpose you should comment it out while deploying it to production and here we are requesting an update to consent information that should be called on every app launch also the consent i think is internally managed by google for one year once the user gives a consent and after uh, a year the user will be displayed the consent form again you should not keep a variable in your app like inside your local database whether the user has accepted the consent or not display this method every time your app is launched and it will internally uh, check whether the user has accepted the consent or not then there is another helper method to call the ump hdk to show privacy option form and here i have defined a companion uh, object uh, so that we can initialize our uh, this class only once next if you go to main activity we are created a variable to check whether the is mobile ads initialized is called or not here we are creating our variable for our consent manager class here we a uh, boolean value to check whether ad is loading and uh, fourth one is for interstitial ad but this can be anything banner ad or native ad or rewarded ad this is our network channel to send data back with uh, once the ad has been loaded to the flutter side and here i am resisting our uh, like this net uh, event channel as well inside the on create method also inside the on create we are uh, displaying the form to the user the consent form and if that is accepted we are initializing the mobile ad sdk and here is the method so i have also overridden configure flutter engine and here we are registering our method channel and here you can see i am calling the show ad method once that is called i am calling show interstitial calling the show interstitial method and if in the show consent form again we are displaying that form to the user and if the user has given permission then we are loading the interstitial ad and this i have just copy pasted it from the docs make sure you replace it with production id at the time of deployment also inside in the android manifest you should replace with a production id again this has been copied from docs i will just show you in a bit uh, where, from where exactly and here you can see once the ad has been loaded i am sending a success call back uh, to the flutter side and if you see this is how you display the uh, the interstitial ad again i have copied this from the docs and this is how you call the show method okay and if you see uh, like this is how we initialize our mobile ad sdk so yeah that's it let me let me show you the docs so if you see we have added this implementation we have also added this metadata tag as well as we are initializing our mobile ad sdk i also showed you this also uh, this is for optimization and ad loading which i told you to add this to metadata tags as well next uh, given that i'm uh, in showing interstitial ad i have copied this ad request builder which i should just show you which i had just shown you as well as all this callback and this is how you display the ad okay next uh, now if you want to see the consent form code click over here go to get started ump platform and what i did was instead of copy pasting all this so this is uh, you have to add this dependency but instead of copy pasting all this code i just went down to the kotlin repo and they will give you and from that i have actually copy pasted all these things and they also give you the code which you have to write uh, once you are trying to show that particular form uh, so yeah if you want you can go through it again this is for they have mentioned like right uh, if you want to show it for uh, eu region you can use something like this as well as add your test device hash id so yeah i think that should be it thank you for watching bye